the celebrations take on different flavours in various parts of Kerala. In Aaron Muller, another annual boat race takes the spotlight. I've already seen one boat race, but this time I want an oar in my hands. Ticket, ticket. I take the ferry to skip the city traffic, but the traffic follows me. It's a traffic jam on a ferry. I love it. I'm gonna go up there. As I come out of the city and onto country roads, I notice tiny villages or kara. People here learn rowing the way the rest of us learn cycling. Kara are where boat races started, and the Aranmulla boat race retains those traditional roots. Men who've grown up in these Karas may have migrated to other cities, but nothing keeps them away from the boat race. Meet Satya, who works with Google in Bengaluru. But come on, Am, he's back every year training with his team. I didn't realise how big yeah, it is. this boat is. It is huge. How many men on the team? We can actually get about 60, 65 people. 65 people. And I hear, right, a little bird, a little mm -hmm. bird told me that you are like the team to beat. So we want twice the, the, the Bandham Trophy, which is the biggest one. OK. Yeah. So the, there's a high expectation this year of another win. That's why these folks are really getting ready. Yeah. yeah. Are you, top team? Top team. Top team? Top team. Yeah. Oh. Are you ready? Oh. Are you I felt a shiver down my spine, that spine. They're like warriors, you know, warriors. I want to ask, though, because this, this boat has got... You can feel the life in it, right? Mm -hmm. It's um, It's been used a lot. How old is this? This boat? one... I mean, we have bought for last uh, several centuries, but this got reconstructed a couple of times. OK. So this... The last uh, repair or reconstruction was done about... Uh, 99. OK. Yeah. So it's got a long... It's got a long history. Yeah, it's... So plenty of... Plenty of men and boys have sat on these uh, these boards, yeah? yeah. And sweat, it. too. And sweat, too. Well, I'm sweating already and I haven't yeah. even done anything, so... <laughs> but I'm told I can only step into the boat only in the traditional attire. A wraparound called a mundu and a scarf called a neriyathu. Stretch the muscles before we head to the water. Moods change now. The boats in the water, you know, the laughs have temporarily gone, and you can now realise that they take this very seriously. Not just because it's a race and they're training, but also the weight of responsibility for their community. And I like that. I mean, you know, preserving a boat like this um, takes a lot of effort. The boats are about a hundred feet in length. Its stern rises up ten to fifteen feet. Because it looked like the hood of a snake, it came to be known as the snake boat. Every person in the boat has a job. The rowers propel the boat forward. Navigators control its direction. And chanters set the rhythm and pace. Now that sounds like fun. But right now, I'm on rowing duty. Sunshine on my back, chanting in my ears, and an oar in my hands. What's not to love about this? We arrive back at the shore to a hero's welcome. I absolutely love that. That was brilliant. They made me feel part of the team, even if it was just for a minute. But that chanting, that tay, 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 pom, you know, it gets you in this kind of rhythm. It's kind of uh, tribal and powerful. What it does is it motivates the team, hopefully, to win. And I'm going to get this chanting right when I come back for the actual race and cheer for my team. 